Yeah, those were huge. Um, those are super big. Um, so I'm glad, you know, the second one was kind of harder to see, so I'm glad the rest were able to see that. And, um, you know, I, I don't know who it was, but somebody just did something extra and kind of pushed my face fast in the ground. So I'm glad the rest got that. But those are definitely big for us, for sure. Justin, what was working for the run game today? How much does it help you out when you have Najee ripping off the runs that you get? Yeah, um, the O-line did a great job. And, of course, Najee did a great job. All the running backs, to be honest with you. And um, I think we just played with a lot of effort and, um, the, the physicality, you know, um, yards up to contact. You know, Najee was getting pushed by O-Lyman. I saw Muth in there a couple of times. So, um, you know, those yards up to contact kind of pushing the pile. Um, we need those, and it, you know, kind of sparks the offense. So. He hit those, um, uh, those bruising runs like that, but he bounced the touchdown outside, and another one he bounced outside for a long game. Mm -hmm. You saw, like, two different types of backs with, with Najee. Today, you know? Yeah, I mean, Najee, I don't know what he ate last night. I don't know what he did, but uh, he sure did ball out today. So... Um, whatever he did, you know, this week, hopefully he comes back and, you know, do the same thing next week. How the running game with Najee is going, does that make it easier for you when you go to run, you know, on the, some like the, the bootleg and things like that? Because yeah. they're, they're more focused on him there? Yeah, I think my second rushing touchdown, I mean, you know, Najee scored on the toss, so they were probably thinking we were going to do the same thing. You fake the toss and, you know, keep the boot. And, uh, you know, there, there's only one or two guys over there, so. Um, you know, just like I said, it, it, it starts with the O line up front and then it starts with the run game. So and then kind of everything works off of that. So, um, like I said, you know, Najee and the O line did a great job executing. And, um, yeah, a big day for sure. You know, Ryan Frazier went out, Ryan came in. What was that connection like for you? Early? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was good. You know, I got a lot of reps with Ryan in training camp. So, um, you know, it was pretty, pretty normal for me. I um, just had to make sure I was getting a few snaps from him, you know, before he came in. But um, it was it was it was smooth for the for, for the most part. Just, what was it to get those turnovers in the second half and then just build on that lead that you guys? Attained? Yeah, I think it's just complimentary football. You know, it's what you want in a football team. It's you know uh, the formula for winning football. So um, you know, I think we talked about it maybe two or three weeks ago or whatever, however long it was. You know, when the defense gets turnovers, you know, as an offense, we want to capitalize on that and uh, turn it into you know a touchdown. So glad we were able to do that today. Yeah, I think it gives us, you know, a lot of confidence and I think we could have put more up. Um yeah, of course a couple of mishaps, but you know, thirty two points is pretty solid, but you know, we're just gonna keep, you know, getting better, keep uh working and you know, hopefully we put up more next week. There's a series in the first half where I think you had three incompletions in a row that were off target. Mm -hmm. I mean, you kind of have to bounce back past that and, and not let those missed throws kind of linger throughout the game. I mean, everybody has missed throws at the end of the day. Nobody's perfect. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just not about to get in my head or anything. I've missed, you know, so many throws in my career. So it's, it's nothing new. It's not, you know, anything different. Like I said, everybody missed throws, whether you're Tom Brady, you know, Aaron Rodgers or whoever. So, yeah. Justin, obviously, in hindsight, 2020, the throw to that ended up to bat in the end zone where we were past the line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. Just on plays like that, how do you balance wanting to make plays downfield with your arm versus wanting to take off the road? Yeah, um, third, it was that, in that case, it was third down, and, you know, Arthur's been preaching since training camp. Kind of when I threw the ball, kind of got a flashback from training camp of uh, him saying not to throw the ball across the field. So, um, when I let it go, that's all I could think about. But uh, I'm, I'm glad, you know, Pat caught it, of course, but wish I was behind the line of scrimmage. But definitely got to balance that. You know, I think some of those scrambles that, you know, you were talking about earlier, Brooke, I think a couple of those I probably could have just, you know, tugged, tugged the ball and ran. Um, got probably eight, at least eight to ten yards. So, um, you know, just balancing that. And, you know, the defense was to play soft, just running the ball, taking, you know, what the defense gives me and um, using my legs a little bit. So, yeah. What do you like about using your mobility in the red zone? Then? Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, it just gives the defense something else to worry about. Um, the first one, uh, they, they played that play pretty well. Um, and, you know, of course, we were able to capitalize that. You know, O-line was blocking pretty good. So I just, you know, escaped to the edge and, um, you know, got in the end zone in the second one. Um, like, like we talked about earlier, um, I think the defense was so worried about Najee from his, you know, touchdown. Um, you know, that, that backside was just wide open, but great, great play calling. And um, it, was, it was pretty much wide open. I mean, my job easy, so. When you're talking about Two more taking here. what's there, is that easier to do when there's a pretty good number up on the scoreboard and, and you're running the ball well and the things are generally going good? You know, you're not pressing or something like that. I think so. Um, you know, I think biggest thing late when we were up pretty big was just, you know, uh, staying on the field and uh, making that clock run. 
So, you know, I wasn't trying to get greedy at all. I was just, you know, trying to take what the defense gives me. And, um, yeah, just keep that clock rolling and, and keep the ball moving. So, yeah. Anyone else? Steelers fans showed out here. Did yeah. Guys, did it feel like a home game out there? It did. You know, I'm looking at the Raiders offense. They're going on silent cadence. So, um, you know, I'm not surprised. I saw something on social media earlier this week saying that, uh, you know, I, I think we bought like 50% of the tickets. So, uh, big shout out to Steeler Nation for showing up big for us and um, coming to support us. So, yeah.